Hello, Ms. Well, it's your boy New Breed coming through with another live stream. As you enter the chat, make sure you hit the thumbs up on the way in. Everybody, not going where you going. You hear me? I see y'all rolling in pretty quick. All praises to the most high on this beautiful day. Man, it's some very nice weather out here in GA. It's beautiful out here. Everybody not going where you going. This message right here is for the living. And I'm talking about those who are spiritually living and their mind, body, and soul is in one piece, their soul is intact, their spirit is intact. They know who they are, they know where they are going. Cause it seems like it's the living versus the dead out here. That's what it seemed like. It seemed like we dealing with zombies out here. So this message is for those who live it. Walking through the valley of the shadow of death, right? That's who we talking to. You gotta understand everybody not coming with you. You gotta let this reality sink in. There are not too many people who are gonna take that olive branch that you putting out. There ain't too many people who gonna grab on and find the ways of life. There's gonna be a lot more people who love sin, who love death, there's going to be a lot more people who give in to their carnal desires a lot of the times. And there's going to be a lot more people who are not willing or ready to follow the paths of truth, which is a very narrow path. Very narrow. Now, this is for the chosen. Look, let me put this out here. I know a lot of y'all are experiencing this because I'm experiencing this firsthand. All you brothers and sisters who are unplugging from the matrix. It seems that everywhere we go, all we getting is hard stares, mean mugs, jealous looks. Are you all experiencing that? Like everywhere you go, like all you doing is living your life, enjoying yourself, moving about, trying to serve your creator the best way you can, keep some morals and ethics about yourself, have some standards about yourself. Treat people with dignity, kindness. But everywhere you go, you get these little nasty looks. And some of y'all, you'll experience in these looks within your immediate circle. I gotta tell you, you need to pay attention to the signs, pay attention to the body language. Please look carefully at those that you surround yourself with. Because if they giving you those very same looks that you getting in the streets from total strangers, that's because you're outgrowing them. The reason you're getting those looks is because you're outgrowing them. And I hate to tell y'all this, man, but it's the reality of the situation. They don't wanna see you win. All right. They don't want to see you succeed. They don't want to see you make it to the next level. They don't want to see you cognitive and socially aware. They don't want to see you making the right decisions in your life. And misery loves company. Pay attention to those looks. I'm telling you now. In this society right now, with desperate times, calls for desperate measures. People will go through great lengths to suppress your light and hold you down. They feel like they have to feed off of your energy, your light, your essence. And there's a thin line between loyalty and self-destruction. There's a thin line between loyalty and self-destruction. Let's make this clear. All you chosen brothers and sisters, you were born into this life for a reason. 
the Most High God says, I have knew thee, I've known thee, pardon me, before you were even in the womb. I have ordained thee. So you were born with a mission. And unfortunately, if you allow others to stop process and progress because you have this false notion that you're being real or you're being loyal to people that you know in the back of your mind don't have your best interests at heart, then you are sabotaging the very mission that the Most High placed you in this planet for. And it just so happens the Most High God doesn't care if it's your mother, your sister, your brother, your cousin, your friends, don't care who it is. They won't be responsible for you stagnating your mission. Only you will. So you got to come to grips that, listen, man, you know, at the end of the day, these people are not going where I'm going. The Most High has something better for me. I cannot continue to hang around this same crowd and all they want to do is drink, smoke, turn up every damn day, pretty much, and live their life lawless and do whatever it is they see fit doing without any moral compass that governs them. I can no longer surround myself by that because I will never reach my full potential. Straight up. Somebody said, uh, slice and dice, cut them off, forget them folks, etc. Facts though. No doubt about that. And you got to have laser sharp focus when it comes to your missions and your goals at hand. Some of y'all in trade school. Some of y'all out here trying to flourish at your workplace. Some of y'all are becoming entrepreneurs, starting your own businesses out here. Some of y'all are very talented. You working on your music and you working on your crafts and your skills. Some of y'all want to start your own barbershops, your own beauty salon. Some of y'all have goals at hand. And it's for the building of a fallen, broken nation. And I'm talking about the nation of Israel, our people. And you have a goal, you have a mission. But some of the people that you are quote unquote loyal to, to, they're doing nothing but stagnating you from doing what it is you're supposed to do. Here's the rule of thumb, here's the golden rule. If an individual is not adding to what you're building, they do not belong in your life. If they're not adding to what you are building, they do not belong in your life. Not whatsoever, not in the least bit way. Listen, there's no gray areas with that. You can't really make any excuses. If a person is dealing with you solely on a take, take basis, meaning you give, they take, 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 you give, they take, take, then guess what? You're responsible for diminishing and depleting your success. That's your, that's your problem, that's your fault. See, there's individuals out there that's gonna take your kindness for weakness. There's individuals out there who only want to be around for what you can give them. And you'll find out real quickly that those people, they really don't care for you. You cannot be desperate for friendship. And I understand that in this day and age it's easy to grow cold and lonely. It's easy to get into a place where you feel so isolated that you feel like you gotta open the doors to certain individuals just to have company, just to have someone there. But if all that individual is doing is taking from you, they don't belong there. They don't. Somebody said, I needed this message 100. Absolutely. I'm glad this message is helping you out in your walk. Somebody says, oh, my, I says, I'm one way. My heart is one place. If you're evil and lost your company, I can't keep. That's how it got to be. Yeah, you are better off lonely than with a toxic person. And see, we could even talk about intimate relationships when it comes to this. Because one thing that you got to understand is if you are in an intimate relationship with an individual that is toxic, now, when I say toxic, I mean there is no good 
coming out of your relationship. You're not building anything together, only tearing each other apart. And a lot of the times in this modern society, you got two broken people trying to come together and fix something. Doesn't work like that. See, when it comes to relationships in general, you got to fix yourself before you get into a relationship or you're just going to be bringing baggage into that relationship. Some people, they don't know when to call it quits and walk away and heal their own internal wounds. Deal with their own traumas. Instead, they'll leech and they'll feed off another person. And this, let me tell you something. Years of that, months of that, days of that, even hours of being around a toxic individual will play a role on your health your overall well-being, your mindset, everything. And these individuals would take years off of your life. I'm serious. They would take years off of your life. Either years due to stress, putting you in an early grave, or they would take years away from you actually being the person you were ordained and destined to be. Time is of the essence. And time is all we got. Don Kaluminati, thank you for the $10 contribution, says, appreciate all the strong messages. Got the family here. Glad to be of support, peace, and blessings, my brother. Thank you for the $10 contribution, family. Highly appreciate you. Thank you, brother. Yeah, somebody said they're dealing with that right now. Absolutely. RC says, or they will have you locked away in prison taking years away from you that way too absolutely i'm glad you pointed that out because when it gets when it gets toxic it gets volatile geraldo thank you for the ten dollar contribution says peace and bless blessings to you and your fam and the baby on the way working harder to get my time game up for show big bro thank you family all praises to the most high and thank you for supporting this work and thank you for supporting the little man on the way highly appreciated thanks for the love brother Yes, indeed. Yeah, you got a lot of people who are very narcissistic and you got to understand society has programmed individuals to become utter narcissists. And these narcissists can't be in your fold. They can't go where you're going because their whole existence is about materialism. It's about validation. It's about um, pretty much carnal vain nonsense all right that's all their life is about and you got to understand where you're going is a little bit deeper than that because ladies and gentlemen some of the most quote unquote successful people with the big houses the big cars they seem to be the life of the party they seem to be happy they seem to have it all a lot of those people are always happy ladies and gentlemen and where you're going is deeper than just worldly possessions. Listen, you got people who seem to be doing better than you. Their wife look better, their girlfriend look better, their homes are bigger, they, they seem to have more money, all of those things. And they still will be jealous of you. They still will be giving you the screw face. And some of y'all like, well, why me? Why is it that I'm not the most successful person you know, I'm not the most charismatic individual. I don't have, I'm not the life of the party. I'm really not out there like that. I really don't even want attention from people like that. Why is it that it seems that I got all this negative energy and all this hatred going towards my way? Well, that's because the most high God, when he unplugged you from that matrix, when he made you let loose of all of the things of this world and take that red pill, and you begin to lose interest in the ways of this world and you begin to gravitate towards truth there was a light switch that went off you begin to go through a metamorphosis and during this metamorphosis the most high god ignited your spirit and now you can see things that other people can't see they fear that because that spiritual voltage is lighting their life up now they have to look at you like a mirror and say okay why am i not finding content and peace why am I not finding relief in these day and age, in this time? And this person seems to be going to another direction. 
So that's why you're getting the jealousy. That's why you're getting the envy. That's why they reviling. But here's the issue. The same opportunity that you had to unplug from this demonic, satanic, luciferian system, they had the same ample opportunity, brothers and sisters, but they denied it. And what the Lord say when they denied it, he said, since they have not a love for the truth, I will give them unto a strong delusion. Therefore, they shall believe a lie. It gets to the point where their whole existence is a lie. So much so they can't even be honest with themselves. If a man can't be honest with himself, he can't be honest with nobody around him. If you're not true to you, you're not true to anything or anybody. See, many are called, few are chosen. You who are chosen, who are literally chosen and handpicked and handcrafted by the Almighty, you can be true to yourself. And that's the place they can't go. They can't go to neutral. They just can't do it because their whole life is surrounded by validation. Their whole life is surrounded by acclaim and veneration from this here society. And they don't believe on no higher power. I don't care how many damn church meetings and councils they go to. I don't care if they deacons, bishops, elders, whatever. A lot of these individuals, they're not true to themselves. All right. And that's the difference between you and them, brothers and sisters. Somebody said, uh, somebody said, when you're going where others no go, you're on the right direction. That's a fact. Yep, the only validation you need is from the most high. That's a fact. Real talk. It's better to be totally intact and have your soul. They not going where you going. You going to the kingdom to come. The last shall finish first. The most high God is rooting for the underdog. A lot of y'all, all y'all all lives, y'all felt different. You felt like you just couldn't fit in with other individuals. Like there was something different. You knew it your whole life. Like, why do I feel so strange? Why do I feel like an alien here on this planet? Why is it that I get these cold stares, these looks? Why do people treat me this way? Why is this, Lord? The Lord is going to answer that for you. He's going to show you the whole time what you were designated to do. You were supposed to be left behind. You were supposed to be abandoned. You were supposed to feel peculiar. You were supposed to stand out. You were supposed to have all of those emotions and feelings. It was supposed to go down like that. So you could be prepared for what we have here now. Broad lead to damnation. A lot of these individuals, they're not going to the kingdom to come. I got to tell you like this, the same ones who are burning with envy and red eye and jealousy and contempt and malice, those same people, they're going to go to hellfire. It is what it is. Because listen, they're going to love their flesh. They're going to love sin. They're going to love their carnal desires. They're going to love their vanity more than anything. And they will never let go. Even though it's clear that everything around us is falling and it's falling rapidly. And now it's time to take hold of our creator. Now it's time to follow the most high. Somebody said time to separate the sheep from the goats. That's a fact. Somebody said by my lonely with the most high absolutely somebody said new breed for months i can't log in a patreon it doesn't accept my card it's not declined i don't understand because i used to be able to log in a patreon um i'm really not sure about that brother unfortunately on my end there's nothing really i can do maybe maybe try uh using a different card or um you know troubleshoot it through patreon Yeah, somebody said your family knew who you was since day one. And, and see, this is the thing. A lot of y'all's families. A lot of y'all's families knew that you were the one in your family that was different. They couldn't put their finger on it. Some of y'all was mistreated for being different. 
some of y'all was looked at like I don't know what it is about this one right here but I'm going to take out all my anger out on this child I'm going to take out all my frustrations of life on this child because this child has a sense of strength that I don't have and some of y'all have been abused some of y'all have been mistreated and couldn't figure out like why am I being treated this way why am I made to feel like um, I'm not accepted in my own family that's because ladies and gentlemen you got to understand some of y'all was born to overcome your families the most high God he had to let you know that you were not like everybody else some of y'all would go places and you would sit in the corner all to yourself while the rest of the family would just be getting along just fine everybody having a good time but for some reason you in a corner all by yourself your mind is somewhere way different and the most high god he's he's giving you these downloads he's installing things into your mind he's giving you thoughts that nobody's really really else is having he was preparing you to go where you were supposed to go he designated you brothers and sisters to go somewhere he showed you that listen off the brick you don't belong on this planet, but I'm going to put you here temporarily, but you will live eternally when this is all said and done. I'm going to put you here temporarily because you have a work I need you to do. That's how the Most High God looks at his people. That's what he told the prophet Jeremiah. I knew you before you was even formed in the belly. Listen, I'm going to take this spirit right here. I'm going to put this down on this planet only to fulfill a purpose. So off break, I'm going to make you uncomfortable here. I'm going to make you feel as if you don't belong here. I'm going to put you in a family where you're going to feel ostracized. You're going to feel isolated. Why? Because you got to know that this life is temporary. See, everybody else around you, they believe that this is eternity. That's why they hold on so tight to a fallen system. They hold on so very tight because... They don't know anything else. All they know is carnalities. It's like they're hoarding on this earth. They're not thinking spiritual minded. Now what the Bible say? The Bible says, if you keep your eyes on things of the kingdom first, then all things will be added unto you. So if you kingdom minded first, all things will be added unto you. That's what the scriptures tell us. But these people aren't kingdom minded. Thank you for the uh, five dollar contribution, Galen. Highly appreciate you. Says been following you since no fat bro. So much love for you. Your music is fire. Where is the best place to find it? Resonating so much with the message. Uh, you can find it on New Breed Music and Motivation, and you can find it on SoundCloud at I Am New Breed. And thank you for the contribution. Highly appreciate it. Somebody says, I hear and understand you all praises. I'm glad you do. Bless you because you got the ears to hear. Somebody says, I have soldiers in my family, but they serve the dominion of darkness. Yeah, I mean, some of us, man, we got some, some people in our family, man, that are straight up narcs. Somebody said, um, I can relate, no doubt. Um, let's see. Somebody said, I stick and move. Y'all be led by the spirit and know that God is real. Absolutely. No doubt, bro. Somebody said, uh, let's see. That sun is shining, man. That sun is shining. Let me see. Somebody says, my bad breed for not saying something sooner, but they kicked me off of Patreon. So they kept saying that I had to upgrade my card is good. Okay. I'm telling you, man. Somebody said, your enemy shall be there of your own household. That's what the scriptures tell you. And I'm not saying every family is like this. I'm not saying every family is like this. But you got to understand, you got some families, right? That they literally are involved in Freemasonry. Um, whether it be through their church. Whether it be through Eastern Stars. Whether it be through Boulay. And... and what end up happening is they be watching a lot of individuals who are not under the same frequency in their family. 
they be paying close attention all the way to the point where they watching you throughout school. They're paying attention to your patterns. They, they paying attention to what it is that you may, um, what you may believe or not believe in all the way to the point where, I mean, you have family members trying to get you on medications just to suppress the light. It's like all to suppress the light. All to suppress what's in you. They want you on all kind of psychotropics. They would listen. Children are supposed to be hyper. They're supposed to have that energy. That's because they got so much going on. You may see kids. Listen, when you see little children do little weird things, right? When they just do, they just standing in place and they just do something weird. Like, listen, that's because the most high God puts so much in those children. There's so much in them that they have not yet let yet learn how to facilitate. There's so much power in them that they have not yearn, learned to facilitate and they have not grown into who they are. You don't understand how creative a lot of these children are that you putting on these pills. You don't under, you don't get it because you, you're suppressing that spirit. You're suppressing it. They just have not learned how to deal with it yet. Some of the most creative people in the world are while they're children. You got families trying to suppress their actual true nature and their power because it's something they don't got just because they become lovers of flesh more than lovers of the most high and they don't have that insight and they don't understand why their children are a certain way they rather put trust in somebody with a white coat who never had our best interests in mind but i don't want to digress but that's how it is like they will set every barrier possible like listen we tried taking them to church they don't believe what the pastor's saying man this person is just not believing it like they're seeking deeper we tried taking them to the church we tried putting them on medicine we tried taking them to counseling we tried everything we had family meetings about this child we tried everything to keep them on that low frequency that we on even though we look we can have a they can have a family full of child molesters alcoholics and drug addicts and they'll look at the kid that don't want to do none of those things or be a part of none of those things and they'll say that that kid is the problem that's how wicked and sinister some of these families are because they got so many generational curses and sickness that they'll pass it down and they'll feel like when a person is breaking those curses then they feel like that's a threat. Just like we learning about the dietary laws. We're not supposed to be eating shrimp, crab, pork, lobster, things of that nature. You'll have that one grandparent that'll say, listen, your grandmother, your grandfather, everybody ate that. Everybody ate pig, even though our family dying of high, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, diabetes, gout. Oh, your whole family did that. Well, guess what, grandma? Guess what, ma? I want to break the curses. You become a devil and a demon because you want to break the curses. Woe to those who say that evil is good and good is evil. Woe to those people. True love, thank you for the $10 contribution, says Shalom. You're preaching the truth, King Newbury. Keep up the good work. Absolutely. Thank you, sister, for your support. Highly appreciate you. Um, his will is real, says I'm blessed when I get a chance to hear these lies. The water. Thank you, family. Somebody said, uh, speak, brother. I can relate. Facts, though. Thank you, family. AR, thank you for the $10 contribution. Says, how do you deal with people who gaslight you when you call them out for jokingly disrespecting you and people who make you feel like you're compromising your relationship with God? Congrats on a baby, too. How do you deal with people who gaslight? If you jokingly calling them out, then honestly, bro, you shouldn't even be in close proximity enough to even joke with them. I know some people are like, you know, keep your enemies close, keep your friends close and enemies closer rather. I'm more so on the lines of keep your enemies so far away from you they can't see you. That's that's the kind of how I get. I mean, I don't joke with people. I don't even I don't even joke with people I don't like. I don't I try my best to just stand straight away from people I don't like. But thank you for the co uh, contribution, bro. Highly appreciate you. Um, and if y'all can, make sure y'all get the thumbs up on the video. Make sure y'all get the thumbs up if you gain the edification. I would appreciate it. Jay Campbell, thank you for the $10 contribution. Says, thanks, Bree. I appreciate the knowledge you drop in. DMV stand up. Oh, shout out to the DMV. Thank you, brother. All praises to the most high. 
Speaking of the DMV, a lot of y'all brothers out there, a lot of y'all brothers in cities all together, and you live in a certain lifestyle. Let, let me word it that way. Let's make this clear. A lot of your homeboys, a lot of your so-called day ones, a lot of them so-called bros, right? A lot of those individuals who quick to hand you a blunt, quick to hand you a drink, quick to go on a mission to make a flip. A lot of them brothers, they not going to be here for long. All right. Thank you for the $5 contributions, says they call me a Bible beater. And I say, turn them away from God when I speak truth. Yep. That's because the truth hurts their ears. It, it bothers them. It messes, it messes with their everyday goings. But you brothers out there, listen, let me let this be known. There's brothers out there. I don't even want to call them brothers. There's demons out there. You know everybody on demon time. There's demons out there that you calling your brothers that want to see you fall. They want to see you die. They don't want to see you make it. There's a brother watching this stream right now, either in DC, Chicago, Atlanta, Detroit. There's a brother watching this video right now who is in between a rock and a hard place. You ready to get up out of those streets. You ready to make that move. You ready to say, hey, you know what? I'm going to go out here and get me a gig because, hey, at the end of the day, when the winter time come around, everything shut down anyway. The streets is dead. I don't know how you could be a thug with a pandemic going on anyway. It ain't cool to do this no more. This is going to lead me nowhere fast but the penitentiary. It ain't no love out here. Everybody crooked, everybody backbiting. You know what? I always been a stand-up guy in those streets. I ain't never done nothing that was too out of the ordinary. Maybe I should back out when I got the time. Let me tell you what's happening. There's brothers, there's demons, because that's what they are. There's demons around you, they watching, they lurking. I'm going to let you know what to look out for. The moment where you make that critical decision to get on the right path, there's going to be demons out there that are not going to want to see that happen. So much so, it riles their spirit up to the point where they want to take you out because they feel like that you made it out and they didn't. They feel like you owe them and you don't. The only person you owe is yourself. Some of y'all done been jumped into gangs. Blood in, blood out. It's only one way in, one way out. Listen, regardless of what that OG told you, regardless of that what that uh gang member told you, what your what your general told you, the most high God always makes a way out. Don't let that culture grab you and take your life. Because although they may utilize intimidation tactics. Although they may make threats, idle threats at that. Better believe the Most High will make a way. And when those brothers come for you for trying to do what's right and get out of that lifestyle that you was once in, once you make that move and they even try to come against you for saving your life, the Most High God will deal with them. They're not going where you going, bro. They're not going where you going. And I know some of you brothers already feel the energy with some of these cats out here. Those handshakes, those daps, they don't feel the same, right? They giving you those weak handshakes. You getting the side eyes. You starting to feel nervous around your own day ones, ain't you? If it's somebody that's going to take you out, it'll be the one closest to you. So when you make that move, let it be known. When I tell you that they're not going where you're going, let it be known that you're going to have to cut these cats off cold turkey. You don't owe nobody in them streets. You owe you. 
If you got families out here, you owe your family, you owe your children to be here for them for the long haul. You don't owe none of these cats out here. I'm telling you, listen. I know what it's like to unplug from a certain lifestyle and get on a good foot. I know what it's like to be out there, man. Trust and believe. Like people, people know who I am and know what I've done. Like I don't even brag. I don't speak on it. I don't, I don't uh, you know, I don't commemorate any type of street culture or none of that. But I have a past, ladies and gentlemen. I've done some things. The reason why I can tell you the ins and outs of actually unplugging from that lifestyle and making your mind up that, man, I'm going to do the right thing. It's because I've been there and I've done that. I know what it's like to read a cell wall. Read the wall and the wall says, I'm 18 years old and I ain't never coming home. Imagine that. Imagine looking at a cell wall and that wall says, I am 18 and I'm never coming home again. And at the time, you 19 years old and you thinking the very same thing. And you reading that and you saying to yourself, damn. In this situation that I'm in, it may be the same thing. When the most I give you another chance, you better hit the gas running. You got to move full throttle and understand that when he give you another chance of life, do not take it for granted. There's so many brothers in and out of jail, in and out of the system, in and out of the streets, in and out of here, in, you know, in and out of, into that lifestyle. And see, for people who don't understand why people get involved in that, it's because it's, it's a certain allure that the streets have. It's an allure. And it grabs you in. And when you raise in dysfunction and that's all you know, that's what you go to. You go to what you know. Aguimo, thank you for the $5 contribution. Says Sebastian Lone, breathe. People talk or rap and thank God. And I believe he can protect them from their own gang. Yeah, he can protect you from that gang if you're trying to get out. There's no doubt about that. The Most High definitely can protect you. But once you, once you make that decision to do what's right, they goes for anything in your life. This goes for anything, even people who are in the music industry. The handful of brothers that I know or know of who got out of the industry and they are intact. I mean, they're thinking clearly. They're on the righteous path. They're, they're God-fearing brothers and they're doing what's right. The hand, out of the handful of brothers, my brother Woodrow, former member of Drew Hill, uh, brothers like Brandon T. Jackson, brothers like... Uh, you know, a few brothers, a handful of brothers, some brothers you not you may not have even heard of. Um, brothers like Yash Karad, just brothers who got out of the industry. They didn't do it halfway. It ain't like they was like, you know, I'm going to stay in the industry. I'm going to have one foot in and one foot out. No, they got all the way out. Like literally, even my brother Woodrow, he had former members all online, all on Breakfast Club all speaking his name and that brother didn't even this brother don't even respond to it this brother just keep it moving like he went all the way out he's like listen i'm i'm, I'm serving the most high shout out to your quad 410 or uh follow your quad on youtube like if you're gonna do anything in life right if you're gonna get out of the industry if you're gonna get out of a gang if you're gonna get listen if you're gonna get out of any type of lifestyle you got to do it full-fledged you got to do it wholeheartedly. You got to follow the words of the most high. Somebody said, uh, Misfit Style says, repent, repent, and repent again. The book is the salvation for our protection. That's a fact. Yep. A lot of people are not going to go where you're going. The, the, what I'm telling y'all right now, the only people who would be upset with this message is those people who ain't going where you're going. Y'all make sure y'all get the thumbs up on this video. Somebody said people be rapping about gang gang and don't expect the demons to come. Yep. You see what happened to spot them. Got them. Rapping about nothing but Satanism and rapping about nothing about running up and killing and, 
and busting your brother down and hitting, knocking his legs off and running up on him with a carbon, shooting him in the spine. And then guess what happened? Somebody spot him and then they got him. That's because that's the type of energy that these people cultivate. It's a narrow road. Somebody said, I met plenty of kids with Down syndrome, autism, who are really creative and talented. That's a fact. Yup, somebody said, exactly, whatever energy you put out. Real talk. When God set your table, everyone won't be able to eat with you. That's no doubt. No doubt about that. And then sometimes it may hurt. Sometimes it may hurt. I'm talking about pain that's cringeworthy. There's brothers who learned the truth of who they are, came into the Hebraic faith, understanding that the Bible is a book written for the lost sheep and those who are at the bottom of the totem pole. And that the Bible is a historical relevant book, especially for those who are of color. And a lot of those brothers have learned the truth and found out what's going on in the world. And they have completely casted away all pagan holidays and traditions, all forms of idolatry, and they have got on the right path. And some of these brothers have lost their families. Some of these sisters lost their families. And I'm talking about lost their marriage, lost people that were so close to them, lost their rib, right? There's people who lost children, children who cut them off and say, hey, I don't know. Dad is a part of a cult. Mom is a part of a cult. I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't want nothing to do with them because they're still in this world, right? There's people who got to go through pain like never heard of before because they're literally isolated. I just want to speak to you brothers and sisters. Listen, listen, let me make this clear. I know it hurts. I know it hurts to have to make that decision to walk away from certain individuals. And that's why I, I make these type of videos because I know that place where you, your heart is in the right place. You just want your family to know what's going on. Uh, you just want to do what's right in your life and you want to preserve your own very soul salvation so you're doing what it is you got to do for your creator and you standing on that rock i know what that's like and those around you they don't see it and you can see the imminent threats you can see that these people are about to go out there and put the devil in their veins you can see that it ain't gonna be no turning back you can see that this is about to turn in a zombie land out there. You can see that it, at some point it's going to be detrimental to even have these people around you because it ain't going to be them anymore. It's going to be something else operate. When you look into their eyes, you're not going to see that same loved one that you had. And you're going to know that you're dealing with spirits and that you're dealing with malevolent forces. And you're going to know that, hey, it ain't nothing I can do at this point. I'm going to tell you right now, the most high God, he has grace and mercy over you. Some of these people may come pulling your heartstrings when it's too late. There's going to be people, the same people who ostracize, the same people who condemned you. Those are going to be the very same people who come back around when they see you surviving. When they see you thriving, when they see you making it. And their bodies are riddled with sickness. And they're, and they're in pain. And they're going through things that they could have been avoided if they only chose truth. If they only stopped loving this world and the materials and the vanity and what Satan's system can offer them. If they only decided that no matter what, they're going to go through the fire and deal with the trials from the rest of the world. If they made the right decision, they wouldn't have to, they wouldn't have to go through what they've gone through. They had the same choice you had. If there's people watching this video right now, new people watching, never seen my channel, never seen my videos. Listen, you have a choice right now. You have a choice right now. And your choice is to serve the creator. Your, cho your choice is to humble yourself. Become like a child and forget everything that you ever knew. And let men of the most high pour into you. Let men of the most high teach you those scriptures. Let men of the most high actually show you the way to salvation. That's the time that you're in right now. Or continue loving the ways of this earth.
the ways of this world, this system that's falling. Because I hate to tell you, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but it ain't going to get no better here. It ain't going to get no better. If you turn it on the news day in and day out waiting for good news to come on, where everything switches back over to this uh, lifestyle that you so used to, if that's what you're waiting for, then I hate to tell you, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, it's not going to happen that way. It will not happen that way. It's only one way up and six million ways to die. You're going to have to choose one. Straight up. Somebody say, I hate this worldly system, pure wickedness. Facts, though. Gloria said, the world presents trials are not to be compared to what awaits the saints who love the most high. Hallelujah. All praises. They not going where we going. A lot of them not going where we going. Amen, brother. Keep teaching the word of God. May the almighty bless you. Thank you, family. All praises to the most high, the God of Israel. Somebody said, my co-worker, my co-workers kept asking me if I got the blank. Got mad when I mentioned this private info between me and my doctor. Right. Exactly. And you answered that. right. Hey, see, that's wisdom right there. That's how you deal with that, brothers and sisters. Doctor, patient, confidentiality. Doctor, patient, confidentiality. The reason why your private business needs to be known is because, listen, all of these minions out here who operate, they want to know what side you on. The most high making it clear who is who right now. And all we can do is praise them because of it. But it ain't none of their damn business what you decide to do. All I can tell you is what I'm not going to do. But all praises to the most high to God of Israel. Follow me on Patreon. The link is in the description box. Hopefully y'all gain edification in this stream. I always enjoy building with y'all. It's always a blessing. Follow me on Instagram at Newbreed404. If you would like to support this work via Cash App, 10% of all contributions go back to the people. Uh, the link is in the description box. I love each and every one of y'all. Y'all stay safe out here. They not going where you're going. Keep on rising. Laser sharp focus. Shalom and peace.